There's a topic that runs throughout the book of Proverbs. I believe I described it this way. God loves those who are not lazy, but they are ambitious. They get at the job. And so we find con- contrast many times of the sluggard as opposed to the diligent. We see that in Proverbs 10:26. It says, As vinegar to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send him. This proverb makes it very clear as to the odious nature of a lazy man. We find that vinegar tends to weaken the enamel of one's teeth. We know that smoke irritates and removes good sight. Thus, we find that a sluggard, a lazy person, is a detriment to society. Let's think of that word sluggard for a moment. It's habitually slow. It's lazy. It's idle. It's slothful. Not given to exertion or being timely in work. Years ago, I worked as a forklift operator for Pontiac Motors. We, uh, there was three of us that unloaded all the trucks and took the uh, goods to different portions of that plant. One of those men, when a truck came in, just seemed to always be somewhere else. And so the two of us basically unloaded and delivered the goods. One day we talked to our foreman about it, and we told him he just cannot be found. And uh, the foreman said, well, he might be slow, but he's steady. Well, he was steadily getting nothing done. Well, we find that Paul called them slow bellies. It's interesting. Titus 1, 2, and 12, and 13 says, One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, The Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. Oh, that almost sounds like those who are slow, those who are sluggards, are not sound in the faith. Sluggards don't seem to ever have a sense of urgency. Proverbs 6.6 6 says, Go to the ant, thou sluggard, and consider her ways, and be wise. If you ever watched an ant hill, and the ants scrambling from here to there, they all have their jobs. And they seem like that uh, they are just in a hurry to get it done. Well, we know that sluggards not only do not have a sense of urgency, but they love to sleep. In Proverbs again, chapter 6, 9, 10, and 11, says, How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou rise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. The sluggards, they want more, but they don't want to put any effort into it. The Proverbs says in chapter 13, verse 4, The soul of the sluggard desireth, and hath nothing. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. We find that these kind are often defeated by very minor hindrances. Proverbs 20, verse 4. He says, The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. He's got an excuse. Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. Another thing I find amongst lazy people, they always have a reason to excuse themselves. And Proverbs deals with that. He says in chapter 26, 16, The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. Well, success and appreciation for men really is as easy as keeping vinegar and smoke away. In other words, get out of bed. Get at your duties and keep doing them. Proverbs 10, 4. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. Proverbs 12, 24. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. 22, 29. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. We need to have the attitude of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
In John 4, verse 34, Jesus said to them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. I remember years ago, when I was a little kid, I thought it'd be great. We had a stump in the backyard. I'd take the axe and I'd, I'd chop that thing away. It just sounded like great fun. My mother, she told me, she says, if you start it, son, you're going to finish it. And uh, so I began, and after about 10 minutes, it was becoming work. and It wasn't fun any longer. And I kept chopping and chopping, and uh, finally I got up and, and uh, I snuck away. But a little later, my mother made me go back to it. Do you know it took me several weeks, but I got it done? I experimented in many different things. I tried to pour gas on it and burn it. I uh, used an axe. I took a drill to it. But uh, my mother wanted to make sure that she did not raise a lazy son. And I thank God for that. May God bless you today.